Hi, this is Pastor Harley Wheeler with Broadway United Methodist Church. I want to share with you from uh, Joshua, Joshua chapter 8. It says, says about something that Joshua did. It says in verse 32, And there in the presence of the people of Israel he wrote on the stones a copy of the law of Moses, which he had written. Well, he wrote it on stone. Now, uh, you might say, well, that was a long, long time back. In fact, it's very famous. All these people were Bronze Age people up until uh, just about the time of King David. Uh, so Joshua was a long time before that. Of course, he wrote everything on stone. Well, no, that's not true. They could write on leather. They could, they could beat flax out and make some sort of paper. Um, they had lots of things to write on. In fact, when you wanted to write a memo, you had a little broken piece of pot and you took some ink or charcoal and scribbled your note and passed it on. Why would you write it on stone? So that it would be lasting. In a time where it might have been hard to pass a message along and along and along, uh, no Facebook and no even the things that I grew up with, television, radio, newspapers. But if you had it on that stone, everybody in this time might walk by and say, what's on that stone? And somebody would say, I'll tell you what's on this stone. That stone is the law of our God. That's how we live in, in harmony and charity with each other. That is how we honor God in our lives. And Joshua put it there so that we wouldn't forget. And you say, oh, I understand. Joshua carved it on stone so it would last and it would be clear. Let your testimony to God be the kind of testimony that lasts, that people will hold in their hearts, people will re remember, and that is clear. Don't mix it with so much of yourself. People can't find God in what you do. Let Jesus pour out of your heart. Amen.